Welcome to M Marriott MBA Today. I'm your host, Jordan Ellis. Today, I'm, we're especially appreciative because we're joined by Ray Anderson. So Ray was the corporate treasurer for the LDS Church for 16 years. He is currently an adjunct professor for BYU. Ray, welcome. Thank you. Good to be with you as always, Jordan. Great. So, Ray, what is global treasury management? Well, first of all, everything re involving finance is global in today's world. Right. So treasury management is very simply all of the policies, processes, procedures, tools, infrastructure to keep the corporate treasurer safe, available, and working. Great. So that's very simple. Why, why is this a, a topic that is so important nowadays? Well, treasury management historically was cash management. What's happened over the last 30 years with globalization mm -hmm. is that it's, it's morphing into working capital management, not just cash, but all the components of working capital. Cash, receivables, inventory, current portion, long-term debt, uh, accounts payable, accrued expenses, uh, and many other things. Uh, it's really the cash control system now for a global infrastructure. So I, one of the things I remember from class that you emphasized was a butterfly. Can you tell me about a butterfly and, and treasury? What does that mean? Well, you remember two <laughs> things. First of all, I told you that treasury is the heart of the corporate Okay. Um, our, uh, circulatory system with the arteries being the cash being distributed to wherever there is need worldwide right. and of course the venous system would be the cash coming in as well as information coming in about cash movements but the virtual butterfly is nothing more than a framework that I feel represents the components needed to manage a company's global cash position centrally. In other words, it is the, um, the global butterfly provides the framework to provide corporate management a window okay. on the world and to provide all parts of the organization a window on what's happening with their uh, corporate treasury positions. That's interesting. But it's a, you've, right. I, I, I really need my corporate butterfly <laughs> Uh, chart to go any more than that. I know that the butterfly really helped me to understand what the class was about. And speaking of the class, what is brought up in the class? What things do you teach during our, the class? Well, everything from uh, uh, risk, such as the risk of liquidity, the risk of illiquidity, to the uh, banking infrastructure that's needed mm -hmm. to efficiently to optimize the um, working capital management. Uh, explain how treasury is really the flip side of banking. That a treasurer without a bank can't do anything. A bank without the treasurers and the corporate contacts really can't do anything either. So they're really two sides of the same coin. More importantly, what I feel the core of the class is, is what are the tools that a corporate treasurer needs, or really the treasure of any organization, whether it's okay. you as an individual, your family, a nonprofit organization, a for-profit organization, any organization needs to optimize their, their cash. Cash is the lifeblood of any organization, whether you're a student or um, a very wealthy individual or the enterprise. Uh, it is the lifeblood of that corporation and the person that knows what's happening with that life's blood and has information about it becomes very important. Okay, well, Ray, thank you so much for joining us today on the show. Thank you for joining us today on Marriott MBA Today. And uh, join us next time.